so much about AI, and now artificial intelligence is becoming a more valuable tool in healthcare, making services and patient care even more efficient. Well, now local researchers plan to use the technology to essentially perform virtual biopsies of brain tumors. Dr. Malika Marshall explains in tonight's Health Watch. Stephen Hibbert was a pretty healthy guy. Then all of a sudden, his life changed on a dime. I was just kind of sitting there, reading the paper, and went into a seizure. The 55-year-old Cape Cod resident was rushed to the hospital and got the news no one wants to hear. He had a brain tumor. Life-changing, as my wife always says it, but it feels like everything got flipped over in our life. While Stephen's tumor was clearly visible on scans, doctors couldn't tell what type it was without removing it. So this past January, he had surgery. He still had to wait two long weeks for genetic analysis to finally learn he had a grade three anaplastic astrocytoma. Dr. Omar Arnout is Stephen's neurosurgeon. But how good would it be if I knew ahead of time, before we did surgery, what it, what it is? And even better if I knew what kind of mutations it had. So I can tell him and his family up front, here's your diagnosis, here's your prognosis, and then here's what we need to do about it. In some cases, not his, but in some cases, that could lead to avoiding surgery completely if you have an inoperable brain tumor. The key is artificial intelligence. So in broad terms, artificial intelligence is our ability to have computers do stuff for us without having to explicitly tell the computer how to do it. Dr. Arnout and a team of researchers are taking thousands of patients' MRIs, matching them up with biopsy results, and allowing a computer program to learn how to identify a tumor without surgery. In essence, a virtual biopsy. That will allow doctors to select the best plan of action and answer important questions for patients like, will I live long enough to see my grandkids? As for Stephen... You would expect, uh, with, hopefully with a good response to the treatment that he's had, that he would have several years. But Stephen, who just took up beekeeping, is planning for a lot longer than that. I'm the kind of guy that thinks 20, 25 years, you know? At least that I'm going stick, to stick it out and stay with it, so... I got too much to do on this earth to, to not be here. Dr. Arnout hopes to be able to use this artificial intelligence technology to help patients like Stephen better understand their brain tumors within the next year. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News. Mm, it is amazing some of the stuff we can do now. You don't have to have surgery. No, I mean, an AI being used in so many important ways, mm. and hopefully for Stephen, it does mean another 20 or 25 years. We are wishing Stephen well. We have